The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Yeah, it's late. It's an 8.30 start tonight, an 8.30 start tomorrow night. My name is Ron Juckett. Welcome to the program for the second day of October 2023. We're going to do the game fours tonight and tomorrow night. The Houston Astros lead the Chicago Cubs in this National League series two games to one. And they will go with Dave Balicki, who was the game four pitcher for the Astros in the clincher against the Florida Marlins a while ago. Kevin Tappany, who did not get to pitch in the National League Divisional Series against the Chicago Cubs, gets the call for the White for the Cubs. Not the White Sox, Ron. Jeez. It's a windy night in Chicago. It figures since it is the Windy City. Winds 16 miles an hour blowing in off the lake. 55 degrees. And it's a big one. If the Astros win this one, they can win the whole thing Wednesday. Planning on doing a Game 5 doubleheader Wednesday, noon and 8.30. So, that's a setup for you. A cool night in Chicago. The Astros halfway to the World Series. And with any luck, we'll have at least a decent game. So, if you're quite ready, let's do this. It's the Astros and the Cubs next. As Retro Sports Network presents... 2001. Already a band. The 2001 National League Championship Series. Tonight, from Wrigley Field in Chicago, Illinois, it will be the Chicago Cubs and the Houston Astros. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. And so it will indeed be Kevin Tappany on the hill. No longer sound like I'm scrambling eggs here. Kevin is 37 years old has tap had 29 starts on the real year he went 9 and 14 with a 449 era he is a fastball pitcher at 86 and a standard pitcher doesn't favor the ground ball or the fly ball a lineup he'll oh let's give you the rest of his numbers 168 in a third innings 186 hits, 24 home runs, 40 walks, and 149 strikeouts. That's what you get being an end-of-the-rotation pitcher. Lineup he'll face, Julio Lugo. Scotty, how are you? Well, share me a piece of burger, will you? And maybe some fries and a cold beer. How are you? He's crossing the Cascade, so he won't be chatting, but is having his dinner at 533 Pacific and having a mountain high burger. That sounds good. Uh, let's see. Uh, walked 40 and struck out 149. Julio Lugo leads off at short for the Astros. Craig Biggio at second. Well, bad second. Jeff Bagwell at first will go hit third. Lance Berkman cleans up in left. Richard Hidalgo in center will bat fifth. Moises Alou in right batting sixth. Benny Castilla at third goes seventh. Brett Ausmus behind the plate batting eighth. And Kevin Balecki, as we said, the winner when Houston clinched their series down in Florida in Game 4, will bat ninth and throw 90 pitches. This is obviously going to be a bullpen game for both teams. Defensively for the Cubs, Rondell White, a 4 and a 3 in left. Michael Tucker, a 3 and a 3 in center. Sammy Sosa, a 6 and a 7 in right. Ron Coomer is a 3 at third. Ricky Gutierrez is a 3 at short. Eric Young is a four at second. Fred McGriff a four at first. Todd Hundley is an eight and a one behind the plate. And Tappany is a seven on the mound with a nine seven two fielding percentage. Lugo, eight for 31 on these playoffs, a seven game hitting streak. He's 
had a base hit in each game for the Astros. It's happening on this cold night, wines and deals, and Lugo has an eight-game hitting streak. That's pretty good. So he singles to left to start the ball game. Here's Biggio. Craig, nine for 31, hitting 290 with two RBI. Tapanese pitch, and that's a ground ball to McGriff. Fred takes it to the bag himself. One out, Lugo moves on to second. And after we did the uh, Tim Wakefield game yesterday, and again, my apologies with the low audio on that. Hopefully we have that fixed. The passing of Russ Francis, the Patriot and 49er tight end, right in my area at the near the Lake Placid Airport. That's about 40 minutes as the crow flies from where I am. Jeff Bagwell at 241, two homers and five RBI, seven for 29 in the playoffs. Tappany deals one out, high fly ball to left, white by the bullpens will make the catch and Lugo has to retreat back to second. I know Scotty really can't chat, but if he's not listening on ear pods or earphones of some sort, it must be rather weird for the other customers at Mountain High Burgers to be hearing a baseball game at 5.30 on a night where there's no baseball. Lance Berkman, six for 22, a home run and three RBI. Two out, Lugo on second. Berkman lines this one to right. Sosa is there, and that will, I, actually he will not, he's gonna try and die for this. Sosa slides and makes a great catch. And that'll do it for the Strohs. Houston gets a hit, leaves a runner on after half an inning, no score. So Dave Malicki coming over from the Tigers. He made one start in this postseason. He's 33, fastball at 86, and a fly ball plus pitcher. Against the Marlins in game four, six game days ago he went five and a third 81 pitches he got the win three hits two earned runs two solo homers a walk and three strikeouts so five and a third three hits two runs both earned two homers a walk and three strikeouts fastball at 86 and a fly ball plus pitcher Michael Tucker leading off for the Cubs in center field Ricky Gutierrez batting second and in playing short. The Astros, Jamie, lead two games to one. This is game four. Kevin Tappany versus Dave Malicki. Hope my audio is okay. It was not good last night when I did the, uh, the Wakefield game. Um, so tonight is Houston and Chicago because I apparently had an appointment at lunchtime today and forgot. Tomorrow, the wifey goes back to the chiropractor, so it's a primetime game tomorrow night, game four between Seattle and Oakland. Uh, Sammy Sosa will play right field and hit third. Fred McGriff cleans up at first. Rondell White and left will bat fifth. Ron Coomer at third, batting sixth. Eric Young at second, bat seventh. Todd Hundley behind the plate, bats eighth. And Tappany through 19 pitches in his half of the first. Defensively for the Astros, Lance Berkman a five and a five and left. Hidalgo a seven and a six in center. Moises Salou a two and a nine in right. Apparently his friend Bartman has tickets into right field. Vinny Castilla a five at third. Julio Lugo a seven at short. Craig Biggio a three at second. Jeff Bagwell a six at first. Osmus a ten and a seven behind the plate. And Maliki a seven on the mound with a 1,000 fielding percentage. Michael Tucker, 6 for 20 in the playoffs. A home run and 5 RBI. And game 4 for the Cubs starts with a walk. So Tucker drew a 4-pitch walk. Here's Gutierrez, who can bunt. Infield playing back. Ricky at 174, a home run. And three RBI. He will square. It is down. Castilla has to come get it, and they're going to get nobody. So Gutierrez is on with the base hit. So a good start for the Cubs. First and second, nobody out for Sammy Sosa. 
Sammy homered in game two in Houston. It's four for 12 in this NLCS. 238 overall, two homers and four RBI. Nobody out. Pitch to Sosa. Line drive to third. Castilla is there and everybody's back. Brings up McGriff at 182. A home run and two RBI. Maliki deals. Fly ball to right. Alou coming in and will make the catch. Tucker and Gutierrez go back. So the Cubs have two on and haven't moved them at all. So two out for Rondell White. At 273, two homers and three RBI. Pitch from Malicki. White swings. That's into right center. Hidalgo coming in. Rides the Schwinn. Makes the catch to retire the side. So the Cubs get a hit and leave on two. After one, no score. So Hidalgo, Alou, and Castilla here in the second. Hidalgo at 407, two homers and seven RBI in the playoffs. Tappany starts the second with a fly ball to left. White will come in, make the catch, one out. It is blowing in hard from right field at 16. And as Moises Alou digs in, it is a chilly 54 degrees in Chicago. Alou at 357, no homers and five RBI. Tappany's pitch. There's a liner in the left center that's going to get past Tucker. Al Lou scampers into second with his third double of the playoffs in the second hit of the ball game for Houston. And now to bring up Vinny Castilla. Vinny, 6 for 24, a home run and 5 RBI. He hits a ground ball to first. McGriff gobbles it up, takes it to the bag himself for the out. Al Lou moves on to third. And there's two out for Osmus. Osmus, 231, a triple. That's right. He had four on the real year. And two RBI. No score, top of the second here in game four. Osmus hits a ground ball to Coomer. And Ron Mc got a bad jump on it. And Osmus is going to beat it out. Now Lou's going to score. So what should have been the third out of the inning, Coomer just did not get a good throw there. And the Astros go up 1-0. And that'll bring up Maliki, who's going to swing with two out. Oh, for three. He had an RBI in that game four win over in Florida. There's a fly ball to right. Sosa is back and will make the catch. But Houston gets a run on two hits and no errors. They leave on a runner. We go to the bottom of the second. The Astros won. The Cubs nothing. So Coomer kind of goes up there. He knows he owes his team one. Eric Young and Todd Huntley to follow. Ron is 6 for 18 on these playoffs with 10 RBI. Against the Astros, he is four for 10 with four RBI. Maliki starts the second. Coomer line drive to Lugo, one out. So brings up Eric Young, seven for 25, a home run and four RBI. He has scored six runs in this, these playoffs. Pitch to Young. Fly ball, left center. The crowd likes it. So does Hidalgo. Richards there, and there's two away for Todd Hundley. Todd at 250, two doubles, six for 24 overall, and three RBI. Maliki's pitch. There's a line drive to Lugo, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We've played two here at Wrigley in game four. It's the Astros, one, the Cubs, nothing. So top of the lineup as soon as I take a drink. I had some popcorn earlier. The thing with popcorn is it gets stuck in your throat. A 
Lugo singled to start the ball game and was stranded at second. Tappany's opening nine, 32 pitches, two innings, and three hits. There's a line drive to Young. Eric leaps and makes the catch, one out. The run that Houston has is earned. Here's Biggio, who's 0 for 1. Craig hits a line drive down the line and left, but that will hook foul. And a Denver Bronco fan still in town from yesterday's surprise win over the Bears. Drops his old style and makes the catch. So the count is two balls and two strikes to Biggio. Yep, popcorn is one of the better smells up there with coffee and bacon. I like the smell of coffee, but I'm not a coffee fan. If Pesky Pole was watching, he'd pass out. Pitch to Biggio. There's a long shot to left field, and that ball is gone. They didn't quite make it out on the wave, and they'll get chucked back out on the field, but the Astros go up 2-0 here in the third. And for Biggio, his first home run of the postseason. An absolute no-doubter. You could hear that one off the bat. And again, it stayed in Wrigley Field. And so it's 2-0. That's the fourth hit for the Astros. There's Bagwell. He's 0 for 1. I'm assuming that we are going to pretend that we're not talking about microwave popcorn being a better smell. But the stuff you put on the stove or when you go into the movies. Pitch to Bagwell. There's a ground ball past Gutierrez in the left field. And White will throw that in. So Tappany getting a little wobbly here in the third. Astros have a run on two hits with one out already in the inning. Here is Berkman, who's 0 for 1. The smell of fresh baked bread is one of my favorites. And I think it's one of the ways that Subway will sucker you in for a sandwich because it all smells so good. The smell of yeast. Pitch to Berkman. There's a fly ball. Center field, Tucker going back there, and Michael will make the catch. Bagwell retreats back to first. Two out for Hidalgo, who's 0 for 1. Now in Houston, when I had my caffeinated beverage, it was a Dr. Pepper. Now my wife doesn't have any idea what it is I, th that I'm going to do when she leaves to go back to work after I have dinner and all that. And so, because I know I'm up late and have to function for myself, I said I need something with caffeine. So what does she hand me? Well, we're in Chicago, so it's a Coke. Zero sugar. Pitch to Hidalgo. There's a ground ball to third. Coomer will actually snare it on the line. A long throw to McGriff, and they got him. So Hidalgo is retired, and that will retire the side. Not before Craig Biggio hits a home run to left field. One run on two hits and no errors. Tappany's going to bat. It's 2 nothing Houston. Tappany on the real year, 240 with two RBI. It'll be Tucker and Goody years to follow. I, You know, first of all, was it you, Jamie, that said that a can of Moxie has 62 grams of sugar? So my first question is, where the heck do they hide it? Pinch to Tappany. Fly ball to right, Alou coming in, makes the catch, one out. So Maliki's opening nine, pretty good, 32 pitches, two and a third, a hit and a walk, and that walk was the Tucker to start the ball game. Second of all, knowing that I would never drink more than just two or three sips of said moxie, soda around here goes for like $9 a 12-pack. I'm not sure where it is in your part of the country. But I have to be very careful, you know, what, what's on sale and so what I get. So, no, no moxie. Maybe for the World Series, if I can find a bottle of moxie diet or moxie zero sugar, I'll try one on the air or something like that. But how you doing, Mark? 
If it wasn't Jamie, but if a teaspoon of sugar makes the medicine go down, a couple dozen teaspoons makes Moxie go down. Go Strohs are up 2 nothing here. They lead two games to one as we're playing in the bottom of the third inning of game four. Tucker struck out. So Maliki got him on a 2-2 changeup on the outside corner. So here's Gutierrez. He has the lone Cub hit. He's one for one. Of course, the Astros have made the postseason now in real life seven straight years. Of course, they're doing it from the American League now. Pitch to Ricky. There's a ground ball back to Maliki, who throws over to first, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the fourth in game four. It's 2 nothing Houston. So Al Lou Castillo and Osmus. To face Tappany here in the fourth, Moises doubled and scored in the second. Ground ball to third. Coomer has it. Long throw to McGriff. And that's good. So one out for Castilla. Vinny is 0 for 1. Moxie's hard to find around here. But I tell you what. I will see what I can do to find a bottle of Diet Moxie and we'll try it during the World Series. Pitch to Castilla. There's a fly ball left field. White going back and in the corner will make the catch. Two out. For Brad Osmus who has singled and driven in a run. And of course that will be the most watched of the World Series games watching my wife and I choke on a diet soda. Pitch to Osmus. Brad swings and that's going to get down in the left center field in front of Tucker. So another hit. And that will bring up Malicki who's 0 for 1. Two out here in the top of the fourth. That's already the sixth hit. Good news for Tappany is that he's facing the pitcher. Osmus stays put. Ground ball to Gutierrez deep in the hole. He goes to first to McGriff. And that will retire the side. So after three and a half, the Astros get a hit. And they've left on four overall. <laughs> it's 2 nothing Houston. I like those uniforms for sure. Steeler fan says, Diet Moxie. All of the dish rag with none of the guilt. So here's how the first three games played out. The first two in Houston, they beat Chicago 8-4 in game one. And Sammy Sosa's back came alive in game two. They beat the Astros 7-5. And the last time we were with you for this series, Houston won game three, 8-5. And that's where we are, Houston halfway to the World Series. Sammy Sosa's 0 for 1. Ja we were talking about cheer wine. You can't find it up here. Jamie's daughter down in Florida likes cheer wine. To me, it tastes like NyQuil. It's not a very good... You know, people swear by it. They like it better than Dr. Pepper. Pitch to Sosa. Sammy fouls that off, and it's a ball and two strikes. Never had cheer wine. Struck him out. Maliki got him on a 1-2 fastball in the outside corner. The good news for Houston is that if they win this ball game, they will go with Roy Oswald in the clincher in game 5. McGriff is 0 for 1. Struck him out. Maliki, an 0-2 curve on the outside corner. If you remember, it'll be Kerry Wood and Roy Oswalt in Game 5. And Wood didn't pitch all that well down in Houston. Rondell White is 0 for 1. What about Birch Beer? It's been years since I've had it. I think I was like 9 or 10. And that's, you know, kind of like Moxie, just a really old soda. I didn't mind it. You ever had Sarsaparilla? That is a real thing. White sends this one to left center. The doggo goes back, and Richard will make the catch, and we're through four. No runs, no hits, no errors. 
After four, it's two nothing Houston. So it'll be Lugo, Biggio, and Bagwell for the Strohs here in the fifth. 18 batters deep for Tappany. 65 pitches, four innings, six hits. The home run to Biggio. Hasn't walked or struck out anybody. It's the last time that happened in a ball game. Both of the Astro runs are earned. Pitch to Lugo, and he draws the walk. You, I remember as a kid, here's Biggio, he homered to left field, and that ball was promptly tossed back on the field. It's his first of the postseason. He's now driven in three. Tappany's pitch. There goes Lugo, the throw down to Young, and Lugo is in there with a stolen base. It was close, but he was safe. So, someone scored a bottle of chocolate soda. And I'm not talking yoo which was Yogi Berra's drink, but an actual bottle of chocolate soda. And I got sick on it. Pitch to Biggio. There's a little tubber down to McGriff. He'll flip it to Tappany. And Biggio is out, but Lugo goes to third. It was, if I remember correctly, White Rock chocolate soda. Jeff Bagwell is one for two with a single. Astros have a runner on third, one out. And a 2-0 lead here in the fifth. Tappany's pitch. Bagwell sends this one to Tucker in center field. That will be deep enough to score Lugo. And Houston goes up 3-0. So the Cubs have not given themselves much to cheer about in a game and a half at Wrigley Field. Here's Lance Berkman. He's 0 for 2. There's a ground ball to Gutierrez. Has to hurry very deep in the hole. He just couldn't get there. Berkman's going to beat it out. So Berkman beat out the throw. Gutierrez got a late jump. And it's the defense that has cost the Cubs in this one so far. Here's a doggo. He's old for two. Struck him out. So Tappany finally registers a strikeout, and that'll do it. Halfway home on a beautiful night in Vermont. 55 degrees. Supposed to be 80-something here tomorrow. Good thing my air conditioner's broken, right? 3 nothing Astros. You joined us, Lee. Here's how we got here. Houston has had three singletons on the board. The first game in the second, a Brad Osma single to score Moises Salou to make it 1-0. And the third, Biggio slammed a home run to the second-to-last row out in left field to make it 2-0. And then a moment ago, Jeff Bagwell with a sack fly. So Dave Maliki is throwing a one-hitter through four. He's walked one and struck out three. Kevin Tappany, a seven hitter through five. All three runs are earned. He has, oh, he has a walk, too. Hasn't pitched terrible, but he hasn't pitched great either. He probably will come out for a pinch hitter if anybody reaches here in the fifth. It'll be Coomer, Young, and Hunley. Ron is 0 for 1. Malicki starts the fifth with a line drive to Lugo, and Julio is there. One out. Eric Young is 0 for 1. You would have thought that the Cubs having the middle three games of the series at home would have been a spark to them, especially after their winning game two. But it's been quite docile so far. Pitch to Young. 
Here's a fly ball to right. Alou going back, and that is caught. That caught in the teeth of that 16 mile an hour wind coming off the lake, and it died. Right in the waiting arms of Moises Elu. Two out for Hundley, who is 0 for 1. If Hundley would reach, then you would go to a pinch hitter. He's going to reach it. Uh-oh. Another fight. What is going to happen here? The bench is clear. You know what's happened in that Seattle-Oakland series. Everybody ran in, but no one really threw a punch. And so everyone just kind of came out, said a few unkind words to each other. But no punches were thrown. And actually, that kind of works out in the Cubs' favor because they'll be able now to pinch in for Tappany. So he got hit. Everyone came in. Exposed again why baseball fights are stupid. Not a punch was thrown. A few words were said. And no one's been thrown out of the game. So that'll do it for Tappany. Maliki did not mean to do that. Here's Bill Miller. Three for ten in the playoffs. An RBI, a walk, and two strikeouts. So this has been, especially with both series being division rivals now, not one of brotherly love on either end. Miller swings, and that's into right center field. That's going to drop in front of Alou. Hundley will better hold at third. You know, he's going to go to third. Alou with a late throw. So runners on the corners, two out for Tucker. And Michael is the tying run. He's walked and struck out. Malicki, 68 pitches, 18 batters, four and two thirds, two hits, a walk, a hit by a pitch, and three strikeouts. So the Cubbies making some noise here in the fifth. Osmus calms down Malicki. Here's the pitch. Struck him out, and that'll do it. So no runs, a hit, a melee, and no errors. The Cubs have left on four. They go to the pen, and we go to the sixth. It's 3-0 Houston. So who are we going to go with? We're going to go with... We somehow need to navigate 12 outs from... Kyle Farnsworth, Jeff Vicero, and Flash Gordon. Because Tavares pitched in game three. So Farnsworth, in this series, three appearances, an inning and a third, a walk and a strikeout. He's 25, throws that slider at 96 and a fly ball pitcher. And they probably, you can't have anything in there, M. Probably need to get as close to six outs from somebody. They have three pitchers to get 12 outs. Pitch to Alou. Moises draws the walk. So a 3 1 curveball missed high and in. Now bring up Castilla, who is 0 for 2. Throw to first. Alou is back. They pitch out. Hundley throws down to Young, and Alou is in there. No chance in the world. Moises had that stolen the second he left the bag at first. So runner on second. And a one ball count to Castillo. Farnsworth deals. Struck him out. A oh, one two fastball in on the black. One away. For Osmus who is singled twice, he's two for two, and driven in a run. It's a ground ball to Gutierrez, has a long throw to first, deep in the hole, the griff is there, and that is an out, Alou will stay at second, 
two out for the pitcher. Now, Maliki, pitch count wise, can go another inning. He's 0 for 2 tonight and pitching well. Two hitter through five. Let's see what the Astros do. They leave him in the ball game and he strikes out. So Farnsworth, after the leadoff single in stolen base, works out of it. No runs, no hits. Excuse me, no errors. We go to the bottom of the six here in game four. It's 3 0 Houston. So Gutierrez, one for two, a single. Sosa and McGriff to follow. Gutierrez swings as a high fly ball to center. Rodolgo is going to get some help from the wind to keep that in the yard. One out. In fact, the wind has changed direction. It is now blowing out to right center. At 16, it's cold. It's 48. Everyone's blowing on their hands. Sammy Sosa is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Maliki's pitch. Long gone. That one will leave the yard and goes on to Waveland. And Sosa is pumping his fists as he rounds the bases. And it's 3-1. to one. And Nelson Cruz will come in to pitch for Houston. Here it is again. No, not that, Nelson Cruz. Sammy nearly put that one in the bleachers on that building across the street. So the Cubs are on the board. Cruz pitched twice in the series in Florida. Last time out was a week ago in an 8-1 win, so it must have been game four, three. Went one inning on eight pitches and a strikeout. Inning in two-thirds, two hits, a run it was earned. He's 28, change up at 89 in a standard pitcher. The Griff is 0 for 2 with the strikeout. Cruz starts his night, popped up left side, Castilla to the dugout. And that's foul. Somebody from Rockford made that catch. And it's an 0-2 count to McGriff. Struck him out. Cruz got him to chase in 0-2 changeup. McGriff wanted a fastball and Cruz took something off it. So here's White. Rondell is 0 for 2. Cubs on the board. 3-1 to one now. Houston here in the 6th. There's a slow chopper to third. Castilla lets it go foul, and the count is 0-2. There's a ground ball to Cruz. Has to hurry over to Bagwell. First base side of the rubber, and that will retire the side. Sammy Sosa, however, has homered. Only the third hit for the Cubs here in game four. The Astros lead to go to the end of the seven, three to one. So Farnsworth, again, trying to get as many outs as he can. It'll be Lugo, Biggio, and Bagwell. Julio was one for two. He has walked, stolen the base, and scored. Pitch to Lugo. Struck him out. Farnsworth has fanned three. He got him to look at a 2-2 hard fastball. Umpire had to think about it. I think that's one of those ones that you heard hit before you saw it. Here's Biggio. He homered to left in the third to make it 2 0 Houston. Farnsworth's pitch, and that's laced up the middle for a base hit. So Biggio, two for four tonight. Here's Bagwell. Bagwell, one for two. He has singled and driven in a run. One out, top of the seventh of game four. Astros up three to one. And if they win tonight, that will be the series total. Three games to one. Houston with a chance Wednesday. Steeler fan, are you here? To go to the World Series. Struck him out. So Farnsworth got him. You want earlier or late Wednesday? So a 2-2 fastball got him. 
Farnsworth will stay in for Berkman, who was one for three. Two out. All right, so if the Astros hang on to this, they will get the prime time slot Wednesday with a chance to go to the World Series. Pitch to Berkman. Walked him, and that'll do it for Farnsworth. They needed six. They got five outs. Well, maybe not. We're going to maybe pitch him to Hidalgo. Those numbers are still favorable. So a full count fastball missed in tight. And Farnsworth says, I can get Hidalgo, and they'll do it. Hundley and Farnsworth change the signs around. Kyle deals, and there's a fly ball to left. That should stay in the yard. White working in the corner. Stretch time, 3-1 Houston. Ron Coomer will start the seventh. He's 0 for 2. It'll be Coomer, Young, and Hunley to face Nelson Cruz. And Houston probably is six outs away from Billy Wagner. If not sooner. Line drive to Castilla at third. One out. So here's Young. Eric is 0 for 2. Cruz has thrown 13 pitches. He can go as many as 25. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. Got away from Osmus to throw down to Bagwell. And that split finger fooled everybody. So two out for Hundley. Todd is 0 for 1. And this time he walks. Doesn't get hit by a pitch. Benches stay together. And he he Michael Jackson coming in to pitch. So Cruz gets four outs. Who is it a righty? Who can hit a righty? Miguel Cairo will come in to pinch it. He's 0 for 1 in the playoff. Jackson is 36. That's pretty ageless at this point. Fastball at 86. Standard pitcher. Fourth appearance, second appearance against the Cubs. He gave up an earned run in his appearance here in the LCS. He did throw an inning. And that was game one, the 8-4 win. He gave up a home run. He's walked three in these playoffs and struck out one. So Cairo is the tying run, by the way. Jackson starts his effort with a ground ball. They might get two out of this if they hurry. Nope, Lugo's only play is to first, and Cairo is safe. He beat it out. That hit the back of the mound and changed direction on Lugo. Lugo, with Hundley not having any speed at all, was thinking two off the... Well, he didn't need two because there's two out, but he was thinking, I have two options here. And then he didn't get anybody. So here's Tucker, who was 0 for 2, a walk and two strikeouts tonight. Jackson deals, and there's a slow ground ball to Bagwell. Jeff will underhanded to Jackson, and the Cubs get nothing out of it. They put two on, but cannot score. We go to the eighth. No runs a hit. They've left on six after seven. It's the Astros three, the Cubs one. So Jeff Facero will come in. Facero has been hit hard. Facero is 38. He looks like in that picture, like he's just come off a Chicago fantasy camp, doesn't he? You know, what you get when you turn 55, you get sent down to 
to Arizona for a week with the guys, get some, have a cigar and a, and a drink with Fergie Jenkins. Casero, both of his appearances have come in this series. He pitched in both of the games in Houston. He got lit right up in the eighth inning of game one and then bounced back and gave up a run in game two. So overall, an inning and two-thirds, seven hits, five runs, all earned. He's walked two, don't you dig my leg, and struck out. No! One. Now Lou is one for two. He has walked, doubled, stolen the base, and scored. Cicero starts his effort, a fly ball to right. Sosa, that's going back. Sammy! No, that's off the wall. Alou gets two. He's in the second standing. So that hit off the ivy. And that'll bring up Castilla, who is old for three. The cat now wants to cuddle on my leg, and she's entitled to do that. He has struck out once. Cicero deals. Struck him out, and Orlando Merced is going to pinch run at second. So, Merced, a faster runner. Alou's day is done. One out for Osmus, who's had a pretty good evening. Two for three. He has singled twice and driven in a run. Facero had an earn run average of three and a half on the real year. 73 and two-thirds and 66 hits. One out. Osmus. Hard ground ball to McGriff. Fred takes it at the bag. For the out, Merced moves on to third. So two out for the pitcher spot. And now it'll be Chris Truby. Truby 0 for 2 in these playoffs. Will walk in a strikeout. Three runs, nine hits, no errors for Houston. They've left on eight. The Cubs one run, four hits, no errors, and they've left on six. Truby swings a ground ball to Young. He throws to first, and that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Billy Wagner is now going to try a six-out save. Truby, Truby, Truby. Thank you, Cary Grant. So this is the computer's decision, not mine. They're going with Wagner. Wagner pitched last night. Got the save in game three. He went 19 pitches, which would mean that if he gets the six outs, he won't be able to pinch if they, got, if they need him. In game five, he's thrown four innings in these playoffs, allowed two hits, a walk, and eight strikeouts. Ricky Gutierrez is one for three. He has a single. Fly ball to right. Merced, who's a six and a six out there, can't get it. It's foul. And the count is two and two. Fly ball, left center field. Hidalgo will make the catch. That wind has changed again direction from where we started. It was blowing in from the lake in right field. Now it's 28 out to right field. So it's 45 degrees. The brandy and hot chocolate are flowing freely here at Wrigley Field. Sammy Sosa homered in his last at-bat. He now is three on the postseason. The lone cub run came in the sixth. Pitch from Wagner. Line drive foul third base side. And somebody's now awake. From Gary, Indiana. The 1 2 to Sosa. Struck him out. Wagner got him on a 96 mile an hour fastball looking. So here's McGriff. He has struck out twice. He is 0 for 2. Fly ball, right field. Back goes Merced. Wind won't help that enough. And after 8, it's Houston 3, Chicago 1. And so Wagner only threw 12 pitches in the eighth. They'll start Facero here. He'll face Lugo one for three. 
a single, a walk, a strikeout. He scored and stole a base. Three runs, nine hits, no errors for Houston. They left on nine. So far, Chicago, a run on four hits, no errors, and they've left on six. Wagner making the AR look smart. The robot takeover is only a question of when. Steeler fans hoping the robot was right. It's DeLugo. Struck him out. So a 2-2 fastball got him on the outside corner. Here's Biggio. Craig two for four. A single and a solo home run. That came in the third. Line drive to right. Sosa, two out. And if they don't need to use Tom Gordon, good for them. Here's Bagwell, one for three. They should have Tavares available to them tomorrow. And, of course, if they really are up against it with the pennant on the line, even with Kerry Wood getting the call, it really is Johnny Holstaff. Hits to Bagwell, and Bagwell draws the walk. Facero says he can get Berkman. Three to one, Houston two out here in the top of the ninth. Facero deals. Berkman hits a ground ball to Facero, underhands it to McGriff, and Jeff is the one that got the six outs. So no runs, no hits, and the Astros have left on ten. It won't matter if they win this ball game, but that's a lot to leave on. The Cubs, as we start the bottom of the ninth here in game four, need two to tie and three to win. It's White, Coomer, and Young, and they are combined 0 for 9 tonight. White is 0 for 3. Wagner starts the ninth. Fly ball to right. Merced coming in. One out. 8.30 tomorrow night. Game for Seattle and Oakland. Ron Coomer is 0 for 3. Wagner, an old-style six-out save in the offing. He's gotten four. Here's the pitch, and he draws the walk, so the crowd comes alive for Eric Young, who is the tying run now. He's a lefty. Corey Patterson will hit. Corey has a single in his lone postseason at bat. It's lefties well. Has some power. Hundley on deck. Wagner needs two outs to get the save. Pitch to Patterson. Fly ball, left field. Back goes Berkman. But Lance will haul it in, and there's two away. So a last chance saloon for the Cubs here in game four. A few little orange hankies making their way out and around here. Hundley is 0 for 1. And Joe Girardi's going to pinch hit. He does not have an at bat in these playoffs. 253 on the real year, 3 homers, and 25 RBI. So Wagner's only strand, struck out one, but he's got five of the six outs he needs. So here we go. Cubs trying to make some noise, and again, there are some orange hankies being waved. Wagner winds and fires. Base hit left field. Berkman will grab it. And Coomer's going to hold it third. So first and second, you got to go back to the bolt to the bench. Pacero's day is done, and here is Augie Ojeda. Two oh one, a home run and twelve RBI. Cannot hit lefties up well at all, but Wagner's already at twenty eight pitches, and Ojeda, by the way, is. The winning run. So Wagner on this 43-degree night 
takes a very deep breath. Wasmus wants some ch signs changed. Wagner from the wine. Slow ground ball to Lugo over to Bagwell. And Houston is one game away from the World Series. They win this one by the score of 3-1. to one. And I don't know if they get anything out of Wagner tomorrow night. But his six outs have the Astros on the precipice of a pennant. So in three hours and 23 fake minutes, the Astros three runs, nine hits, and no errors. They leave on 10. The Cubs held a one run on five hits and no errors. And Kevin Malicki, who had an earned run average of a ton in real life, has two huge postseason wins. He went five and a third tonight and struck out four. But Billy Wagner with a six out save is going to be our digital dice MVP. Kevin Tappany takes the loss. Again, he didn't pitch horrible. He didn't pitch well. And Farnsworth and Facero themselves both got six outs. So that'll do it for here for tonight. The Astros, one win away. And they have three bites of the cherry to do it with Roy Oswald on the hill for game five versus Kerry Wood. That'll be the late game Wednesday, 8.30 Eastern. Mariners and A's tomorrow. With Oakland leading that series by the... The margin of two games to one. Until 8.30 tomorrow night, Ron Chucker, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you for Oakland, Seattle tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. So long.